would uh, tra trade them over to another carrier and pick them up after they got their engine problem fixed. Other times, there have been once or twice when it had to tell the squadron of pilots to ditch in the water and we'll pick you up and let the airplanes go because there was nobody close enough to, for them to land on. And so it was, it was just one of the parts of the war they didn't talk about much. <laughs> so, so this stuff was all, you know, important. Uh, that, his gauges look terrible, but uh, I heard there's one guy down there who's fairly new. He'd just come down and been assigned to the engine room. He'd been there about a week. And one day he walked in, and the guy who was in charge, the guy called the top watch, he usually stood right in front of that big open pipe. That's where fresh air comes in from outside. And uh, the, the top watch grabbed this new guy and said, okay, take over the panel. <laughs> I came over there, what do I do? <laughs> and he learned pretty soon. But uh, it's like driving your car. You don't watch all the instruments all the time. They mainly watch the main steam gauge if they had a reason to watch others, that's showing you've got water places where it should be and it's not empty. These three are just showing lubrication is going to the critical points. Oh wait, that's the three over there. These were used, this is used for uh, checking problems if you're having uh, problems with your turbine speed. This one checks the, uh, uh, what's going on at three different points in the uh, high pressure turbine only and they can usually figure out from that What's, what's happening and what we have to correct. And so, but mainly they just watch the, the main pressure. They uh, occasionally they look down at the lube systems, make sure they're working. What is this one? This one was uh, a stern steam, I think it is. Yes. No, auxiliary steam. Auxiliary steam. Okay. steam. That's, that's the stuff they're taking off for other uses. Uh, there's one over here somewhere that's a stern steam. Uh, I think it's up there. Yeah. I can't read really this that way. <coughs> oh, that's vacuum. That's superheater. This is a stern steam. Here's the stern steam pressure. And, uh, yeah, so everything is working. Everything from here over to the end, this gauges, that's strictly recording the performance of all eight boilers in four different rooms. And the top line, this shows the steam pressure in each of those boilers. Uh, the, the middle one was the, uh, uh, what was that? I think it's water. No, it's fuel flow to the boilers. And the bottom one was a uh, water flow to the boilers. And you notice they all have a set point. When they're all in the right place, the arrows are all pointing the same way. So it's real easy to pick up one that's sagging down because there's something leaking. Those red glasses are called sight glasses. Uh, they would also they indicate what's happening in the, some points that are absolutely critical. They need to have steam and water in them at all times. And when the ship was running, those are lighted and they have little letters on them that tell you what, what they are, which uh, valve controls that. So if one suddenly went black, the alarm would go off to get your attention. They'd run over to that, those four boards. That shows the position of every valve in this compartment. And uh, they go over there and if this, this one is out, they study those to see which valves they have to open and close to bypass the bad one or replace it. So that's strictly uh, mechanical. Isn't it? Nothing electronic about it. Every time they change a valve, they make sure they change that on the board so they know where it is.